the United Kingdom is on the brink of collapse. A recent survey shows that over two-thirds of British citizens believe their country is declining. This is a 20% increase from just three years ago. There's plenty of evidence to support this view. The National Health Service, once a model of universal healthcare, is now in crisis. Nearly 8 million people are waiting for important medical appointments or surgeries. This is just one example of how government services are breaking down. The UK economy has been stagnant for years. Food prices have jumped 25% in the last two years alone. Buying a first home is now out of reach for many, while high bills and rent are draining people's savings. Public transportation is a mess. Train tickets are expensive, but delays and cancellations are common. This is a big problem in a country where over a million people commute to London daily. Local governments are struggling with budget cuts. This affects everyday life in many ways. For example, there are now over a million potholes on UK roads, about six for every mile. You're twice as likely to damage your car on British roads compared to 20 years ago. Crime is also a growing issue. In 2022 to 2023, over 2.1 million cases went unsolved. That's more than 6,000 unsolved crimes every day. Only about 300,000 crimes were actually prosecuted. Even more concerning, the number of unsolved murders has doubled since 2010. The UK has some of the worst inequality in the developed world. Some British towns have higher poverty and death rates than parts of Turkey, Romania and Poland. The gap between London and the rest of the country is huge. The richest parts of London have incomes four times higher than the poorest parts of England. The Conservative government, in power for over 12 years, is largely responsible for these problems. They've cut public services, allowed mass migration and generally neglected many issues. But, you know, some of these problems have been building for decades. The UK has shifted from making things to focusing on finance. This has led to the creation of tax havens in former British colonies. These allow the rich to hide huge amounts of money. One professor estimates that over £5 trillion is hidden in tax havens, with British territories controlling the largest share. This focus on finance has concentrated wealth in London, but it hasn't helped most people. The Panama Papers scandal showed how this system of fraud reaches the highest levels of British society and government. The housing market has been hit hard by this wealth concentration. Over £100 billion worth of UK property is secretly owned, often by offshore companies. The government has made it harder to build new houses, which drives up prices even more. In summary, the UK is at a turning point. Years of underfunding public services and focusing on finance have led to widespread problems. Without major changes, the future of this former world power looks uncertain. So what do you think, guys? Is the world collapsing? Is the UK done for? Or will we make a recovery? I think it's going to take a while to actually make a recovery. But, you know, whatever. What do you think? Uh, okay, I'm not going to make that much more content like this. This is more like in a sort of experiment. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And um, I will speak to you guys soon.